I'm Alex. I'm going to take you through what it's like getting your prosthetic, pulling it out of the box, putting it on, attaching the leg, and uh, so on. So bear with me as we go through this video. I'm excited to show this to you. I've got my buddy Jack here with me today. He's uh, been a, a lovely volunteer. Now Jack is, uh, has been wearing a prosthetic now for a couple of weeks, um, so he's definitely used to it. Without further ado, we're going to open up the box that you will receive. We're going to pull out the prosthetic, which of course will be wrapped, you know, unwrapped, but this is what it'll look like. Every prosthetic's a little bit different, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Nine times out of 10, when you get this, the leg is going to be detached. Uh, sometimes with smaller dogs, we will leave it attached. Um, the reason that we do this is because with larger dogs, we want them to get used to the jacket uh, before we attach the leg to it. Um, and so what we're gonna recommend you guys do is wear this jacket, or have your dogs wear this jacket for just a few days without putting the leg on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, wrapped up on Jack. Hey, Jack! Okay. So now that I've wrangled Jack, he's been running in this field and I don't blame him, I'm gonna go ahead and undo our straps here and get him in here. Now, uh, you might wanna do this with two people. Uh, your dog may be nervous, so take it slow. Don't feel the need to rush this. Um, there's also cases where you wanna let them sniff this for a few days to really get comfortable being around it. But we're gonna have Jack hop in here. Can you hop in? Good boy, good boy. So while he's here, I'm gonna bring our straps around. Oh, Jack, you can't run off on me, bud. Hang on. Good boy. So pull this one over. Now with the straps, you want the middle one to be a little bit tighter than the front and the back. And the reason for this is it acts as a little bit of a hinge. And so the jacket can pivot a little bit on that center strap here. So I think these are tightened down well. We're gonna let Jack run off with this, let him get comfortable. Good boy. <laughs> okay, so now it's a few days later, your pup's gotten a little bit more comfortable with the jacket and the prosthetic as a whole. Either they're comfortable being around it and or wearing it, which is great. So the next step is going to be fitting the leg and then we're gonna get some photos to send back to us to make sure that everything is looking okay with the alignment. So your leg will come with a bolt through it along with a washer and a nut. You're gonna make sure you wanna keep hold of that washer. You don't wanna lose that. We're gonna loosen this off of the bolt here and then we'll push the bolt out of the leg. Now when you put this on, most times the bolt will be facing the inside of the dog's leg here. You wanna make sure that the head of the bolt is facing towards their good leg. You don't want the nut on that side because sometimes this bolt sticks through and you don't want the leg to catch on that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. You're gonna to wanna to grab a Phillips head screwdriver. You might need to drive this in now that we're getting a little bit of resistance here. Okay, now that we have that through, we're gonna add our washer. So with holding the nut, you're gonna take your Phillips head screwdriver, come over to the opposite side, and just tighten this down and make it snug. The washer has a uh, grip on it, so you don't need to go crazy with this. That looks good to me. Okay, so now that we have the leg attached, we're gonna try this on Jack. Before we let him off, we wanna get some photos. And you wanna send those photos back to us uh, and then when you start to have your pup move, you gotta send those videos to us. It's very important that we get an opportunity to analyze and make sure that everything looks good. If we need to make an adjustment, we can recommend that. 